Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So again, we're back to the FR Sky and SPI board binding issues. This time I'm getting a lot of questions from people who, well, they're not in the US, they're over in the uh, uh, EU region. I'm sure that's not the right term for it, but you guys kind of know what I mean. Basically anybody in this, uh, this yellow strip here, if you buy FR Sky gear and it's sold to you under the right settings, you're gonna get what's called an EU or LBT radio. LBT stands for listen before transmit. And everything I talk about on this channel is basically based around the FCC communication protocol. So today I'm gonna to show you fine folks that aren't where I'm at, who do have EU equipment, LBT radios, LBT receivers, how to uh, get all this stuff to work. It's kind of the same thing as all the FCC stuff, but there's a few little tweaks that we have to do. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is we're gonna to need to check which version of the ISRM we have. That's the internal serial radio module. This will dictate what type of receivers we can talk to and what firmware is on that receiver that we can talk to. So with your radio turned on, hold down the menu page. If you don't see tools on page one of seven, you probably need to update OpenTX. OpenTX is the operating system of the radio. If you don't know how to update OpenTX, check out this video that I have pinned in the corner. You need to do this first before we do anything else. And on top of that, make sure your bootloader is set right. Should be covered in that video. Okay, so now we're gonna scroll over to this page that says version. Go down to modules and RX version and click your enter key. Depending on which radio you have, the layout's a little bit different. Hey folks, it's Dan from the future here. So if you see in this page no version found, it's because you have a model selected in your radio that doesn't have internal RF enabled. So if you see no version, Go back to your model page and go to internal RF and turn it on ACCST D16 or access. But for this video, might as well just go ACCST D16 because that's what we're gonna need. You should see 1.1.3 EU. If you see two point anything, we need to downgrade to version 1.1.3. Anything below version two point anything is ACCST one. Anything Two and up is ACCST2. These SPI based boards in like your Mobula 6s and your beta FPV quads, anything with the happy model boards with the built in SPI receivers will not work on version 2. We need to be back to version 1. So you will have to downgrade. Now, if you have a mix of quads that fly on 2.0 and some on 1.0, it's okay. It's very easy to flash the ISRM back and forth. Only takes maybe a minute or two, as long as you label your files in your SD card so you can understand them, it's pretty easy. Or the best solution, just get an external multi-protocol module and we can be done with this whole mess. All right, now that our radio has version 1.1.3 EU, that means this radio is being used on the LBT standards. Next thing we have to do is change the settings in Betaflight so our quad can talk to the radio. Okay, so I have Betaflight loaded up. You're going to wanna to go down to your configuration tab. And down here, you have SPI receiver support. Make sure we have that enabled. And down here where it says SPI bus receiver provider, we want to select FRSky X LBT. Obviously FRSky means it's FRSky protocol. X means it's D16. These radios with the ISRM cannot talk in D8 without an external module. So they can talk in ACCST D16. That is the mode we need to use. So we need a FRSky X. This one here, FRSky underscore X, is the FCC protocol. We're looking for the EU LBT, and that's gonna be this one here, FRSky underscore X underscore LBT. Be sure to hit the save button. Next, go down to your CLI and type bind underscore RX and press the enter key. Over on your radio, you're gonna to wanna to go into your model, page over once, so you get to page 
two of 12 should be set up. Uh, the two of 12, it can vary. So just set up page. And I like to scroll up to get to the bottom of the list. Make sure we're set up on ACCST D16. And go to bind, channel one through eight, telemetry on. And you should start hearing your radio chirp. When that's chirping, it is trying to bind to the quad. Now go back over to your computer and type save and press enter. And then you can exit the bind function on your radio. Head back over to your receiver tab in Betaflight and now you should see that we are bound. Uh, one thing to note here is the default channel order for Betaflight is AETR, that's aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder, and then aux1234. The default channel order for FR Sky is TAER, that's throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder, 1234. So all we have to do is come over here and type TAER, 1234, and hit save. This may be different depending on how you have set up your radio, but at least for the stock configuration, this is how it looks. I just realized I typed that wrong. <laughs> T-A-E-R, one, two, three, four. Now, every once in a while, I get this weird, like really slow response thing going on. All you've got to do is disconnect the drone and reconnect and uh, power cycle the radio, and it tends to clear that out. And there we go, throttle goes high and low, roll left, and right, pitch forward and back, yaw left and yaw right. So there you go, folks. It's pretty simple to do it. It's the same thing as uh, binding to an FCC radio, except for you have to just change that one receiver protocol. Uh, I hope this really helps everybody out. Uh, I know that this kind of stuff, it's, it gets kind of difficult, and it can be very, very frustrating. Please just take a breath, calm yourself, and reach out to me over on Discord. Head to tweetfv.com and click that Discord link. There's a lot of people over there that have watched me go through this on a daily basis with people. And uh, if I'm not around, they can usually step in and swing and help you all out. I really hope you find this content useful. If you do, again, head to tweetfv.com, show your support, hit that Patreon link, or click on those affiliate links. That's, that's an easy way to support me. Uh, get yourself some grips for your radio. And that's it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them down in the, uh, the comments below. Again, if you want extra one-on-one uh, -on -one support, head over to Discord, and I'm more than happy to help anybody out. All right, folks, as always, stay positive.